Hello, in today's video I want to look at the new feature of the cuts geometry parameter that's in the family editor environment. So this cuts geometry parameter, if I just deselect this here, you can see that this void uh, is cutting a vision panel in the door panel. If I turn that off and just deselect, we can see that it's no longer cutting that void out. I can actually map that parameter to another parameter like this, uh, which means once it's loaded into the project, uh, I can select the parameter or select the door in this situation and turn that perimeter on or off. Okay. So you might look at uh, how that's behaving inside the project and think, well, that's nothing new. We've been able to do that in the past. However, I've got an example here of an old door and you'll notice I've got the perimeter down here for uh, an offset value and when I turn the has vision uh, panel parameter on that value changes to zero. I'm just gonna have a look at that in the plan view here and you can see effectively when it's not cutting the door panel we've moved that outside of the door panel. Now quite intentionally in this scenario I've moved it out this side and I've moved it out a reasonable distance. As I say, that's quite intentional because what I want to do is demonstrate when it isn't cutting uh, an issue that that causes. So at the moment, as you can see out here is where the panel or that void is actually sitting. And you can see by clicking on that, I can select, accidentally select that door. Okay. So it means it can be easy to accidentally select objects using the old method of moving the void out. So this is really good. I really like this new feature. It adds, uh, makes it uh, a little bit easier to create these kind of objects in the family. Uh, what works really nice as well is both the glass panel, uh, which we can just sort of see there, and the void. We both want to have that ticked on or ticked off. So the glass panel comes on when the void comes on. And likewise, the glass panel gets turned off when the void cut gets turned off. So this is really good. I wanted to double check and see how things worked with the... Uh, if I go into this reference level I believe it is here, yep this one here and I've effectively just got a what might be a kitchen sink or something like that but I've got this cuts with voids when loaded parameter turned on so back in our project what that means is I can use this cut tool now what I wanted to check for however was with the cut bench turned off, uh, will it still cut the, the hole in the bench? So let's just check this out. If I go to the cut, I'll select the bench and then select the... And you can see there that it does actually cut that out. And I believe this is a good thing because you can imagine how confusing it could end up being if having a parameter... So we're effectively mapping the cuts geometry parameter there. You can imagine how confusing that would be if we uh, had to come down here and untick that or depending on maybe we'd gone to uncut and we've done an uncut like that. It could get very confusing as to which method has been used uh, to turn off the cut and so they've kept that consistent. You still need to use the cut or uncut tool from up here in this situation. So that's, I think, a real good idea.